Maynard Tip Tuesday, a warm welcome uh, to all of you. Today's topic is by request on the American Cane Boxing Curriculum. We have the immersion certification now, Winter Cane Immersion coming up in February. And so naturally, hey, can you demo some more of that? You know, we're excited about it. So I'm gonna share that situational model for you today. Techniques from American Cane Boxing. But before we do that, a warm welcome to everyone. Big cane bump to you. And two things you wanna do straight off the bat. If you like the content, go ahead and do this now. Hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so that you don't miss any future content. And also avail yourself of the number one, the no cost resource, which is the Cane Clarity Call. And that's where we will jump on a call with you. Listen to what interests you uh, about the Cane and, and Cane self-defense and give you an actual plan uh, that you'll have in place so that you it saves you time, it saves you funds and frustration on this phenomenal journey. Just text the letters CCC to 305-745-7839. In less than 24 hours, we will be on a call with you. So American Cane Boxing, this situational um, model, which pretty much what it says is that, you know, it's not always warranted uh, to go off. When you think ACSD, there's two things that may come to mind. One of them is that power shot template, right? It's an aggressive uh, template. It was originally designed to deal against knife attacks. I absolutely hate them. And the second thing is, oh yeah, they're the guys that you know have all the movement and, and, and maneuverability. And that would be true because we believe that if you move better, you can protect better, right? Hence that slogan, move better, protect better, live better. I'm gonna take that, the, the model and show you three different situations using a concept. This is not uh, exclusive in any way, shape or form to ACSD. Uh, other combat models, including, you know, there's martial arts that use this, but um, for our purposes, we're, we're just going to call it earth, wind, and fire. And starting with that fire um, uh, response, right, which you think, think of fire. Uh, if, you, if there's a fire, you're just not going to walk into this, right? It, it's something that tends to, you're going to have to move away from it because it's overwhelming. It continues to grow. It continues to get stronger. And that's where that power shot template comes in. When would you use that? Is it always warranted uh, to use that uh, fire model and just explode on somebody? I'm here to tell you that it's not. And you'll see what I mean. Um, yes, if I'm dealing here with this assailant, he moves into, into the picture and um, listen, I don't want any trouble. He, I see that he draws, right? Ah, right? now um, in dealing with this, I'm not gonna wait around to see what he's gonna do with that as he approaches and get into this you know, cat and mouse game, I am going to, you know, I have the longer range tool, I am coming at him. If he doesn't move, he's going to get cracked hard with speed and with power, right? And these are educated shots. I'm not coming from left field, I'm not telegraphing. That's the way that we train. And we train to respond that way as if it were going to be a duel that's going to last. In reality, it probably is not gonna last very long. The whole idea is to overwhelm and dissuade. That's a fire model. Another application of it might be where he's here, I'm dealing with him, I'm having a conversation. My verbals, my verbals and my, my uh, gesture have to go in, in hand with that model. So if I say, right, I'm usually gonna be used to be like, back off, back off, no, get away, right? It's going to reflect that. It's not one where I'm saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> right? It doesn't, it doesn't match. So if I'm dealing with him here and I see he draws back, he's gonna pull away, boom, I'm gonna be first. Yeah, back off, back off, no, no, no. Stop, 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 right? That is a very fiery response, but it, it's not always warranted. If you're dealing here with an individual who's obviously inebriated and he doesn't have a lot of control, but he still can be a threat, uh, does it warrant that you go off on him? Notice that even though I'm in this fire mode response, I'm still targeting, I'm very, I'm still anatomically uh, uh, targeting to shut him down, to destroy the intent and not necessarily destroy him by you know, whacking him in, 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 in the head with fatal blows and things of that nature. So um, the second one, uh, the second response might be where you know, I wanna water this thing down, but I'm not willing to give up my spot. I'm gonna hold my ground. It's very earthy, 
right? It, it, think of power. I'm not going anywhere. I'm standing here. Uh, maybe it's, you know, my wife is pregnant, and uh, this guy tells me something like, hey, man, that's hey, my seat. She just, you know, she, she just took my seat. Well, I don't see, I didn't see your name on it. I'm not going to respond like that because that's just going to escalate everything. Say, hey, man, listen, you know, I'm sorry, but you know, my wife's pregnant. But here's the bottom line. I'm stepping in, and I'm not going anywhere um, with this. I'm just not going anywhere. He might put his hands down, you know, no, 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 down, 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 right? Listen to the verbals, down, down, down. Think of the earth. We say in English, um, you know, that individual, he's so down to earth. Nobody ever says he's so up to earth. It's very much about grounding, pop, right? And, and he's going down, <laughs> literally, right, to, to hold him off. Um, it's not necessarily where I'm being first or I'm looking to overwhelm, but... You know, he does come to put his hands, no, 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 down, 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 down. Oh, there's that finger lock, right? And, and it's designed to control and, hey, and the same thing whether you have the cane or not in ACB, ACSD in general, in our curriculums, we always teach you the empty hand uh, translation to all of this. So uh, in the same way you would do it this way, hey, down, 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 same, same thing, right? The third response then would be one where I, it's going to be more like, like the wind, Right? It's going to be more giving, but it's giving. You're giving in, in essence, to get your way. And guys, this is one where, you know, those of you, you've seen my, my concept on the whole, the whole concept of the IP cane, uh, right, where I'm blending in with this. But instead of going up here and going to fight with him where he might get that cane and I'm going, uh, and then he pins me, he throws that punch, pop, he takes me to the floor and this just escalates and gets, I'm just going to go ahead and give way. I'm going to switch canes here just in case and go with with a drone but um, he does put his hand da, 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 right and this is where I blend and I use that cane his head just went into that wall and then down 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 right same same thing my verbals might be different and, and by the way I don't have to control there um, uh, listen man he tells me whatever he, he wants to tell me and I, I say you know what I'm, I'm sorry I don't but rather than give him my full uh, there's going to be that quarter pivot where, uh, bam, and that might be it for me. But nor, notice it has that turn. Hence, in our flows, when you see something like that, you're training in better movement. You're dealing, everybody at ACSD who's in our curriculum, especially advanced, they see that kind of pivot. You know that you're dealing with multiple assailants which is one of the concerns that we always have. Defenses against weapons and defense against different individuals. So that's, that's how you would use, this is that's just a glimpse at how you might use that model. Using fire, there are others, but that fiery approach, back off, back off, back off, um, where you're holding your ground and then where you're kind of blending in with that, which would be, be that wind element. But notice that each one also has um, a corresponding verbal skill set, if you will. Uh, to go ahead and match it. So that we are going to be covering in detail in, uh, in February. But listen, as always, if, if you're here for the first time, you've been watching now um, for a bit, or you're an instructor and you say, hey, those are interesting concepts. Uh, that's, that's different and I'd like to go ahead and, and serve my audience that way. Go ahead and let's have a conversation first because we want to meet you where you're at. Um, a lot of these concepts, maybe you're watching, you say, hey, I can't turn the way that you do. I can't move. I know. Come as you are. That's your starting point. That's why something like this, right, where you're moving that earth element, that this is called a, a quicksand drill where you're moving without really moving the feet forward and back. That's a drill so that you have a better um, uh, handle on that cane, for instance. So we have a way of circumventing the training to fit your needs. And it all begins with just texting CCC to 305-745-7839. We love talking to you. If you want to call the 800 number, we're at 800-289-8188. I'm Joe Rubina for American Cane Self-Defense and the American Cane Boxing Curriculum. I'm excited about uh, winter cane immersion here in February. Thanks for watching. Keep caning. Stay safe.